today in this video, I'm going to um, show you how you can uh, configure SSH on HP switches. So I am using the same topology. Uh, so we have a core one uh, connected to access switch one, and we have a PC connected to the access switch. Um, <clears throat> Let me go to let me go into access switch. So let me do exit. So let me see if I can make this a little bigger. Change fourteen. Apply. Okay. Uh, line aux zero is available, meaning that we are connected to this switch via console. So here, line uh, aux. <clears throat> so let me go to the procedure here. So uh, first is we need to create a local user, but uh, in this case, I believe uh, local user. We already have a local user. This is the local user that I created when I made a video uh, about <clears throat> uh, configuring Telnet. So local user, let me just uh, double check. So local user, uh, admin class, manage, password, so hash, uh, service type. So I can uh, I'm using S both SSH and Telnet uh, and authorization attribute uh, user role admin. So we have uh, created, uh, I mean, there's already a local user on the switch, so we don't have to worry about that. So uh, creating SSH, I mean, configuring SSH. This is where we can actually uh, configure. I mean, the SSH is what we can configure in this case. So system view, step one, public, local, create. In this case, I'm choosing RSA. Um, Okay, so it says here, so it looks like the um, local key pair already exists. Uh, confirm to replace it. We can just replace it. So input the modulus length, so 1024 default. I'm just going to press enter. Generating keys. Okay. Now I can go into the line uh, BTY. ETY 0, 4, through 4. Display this just to verify its configuration. <clears throat> so looks like it has the, it already has the authentication mode scheme. This is where you have to use a local account or uh, where you can use a external server like uh, radios or TACX. So that's done. Um, actually, I, I forgot to enable SSH first. So let me go ahead and enable it in the system view. System view. So server. Because like uh, Telnet, SSH is disabled uh, by default also. So we have to enable it. OK, that's enabled. Uh, BTY zero. Let's play this again. So we only have protocol inbound. Um, I mean, Telnet enabled for the uh, protocol inbound. So let me uh, enable SSH as well. I mean, two question mark. So we can uh, enable both or all. But just gonna do SSH and quit. So I guess we can try it now, right? So 
this uh, this switch has an IP address of 10.1.1.30. So let me go into the core switch here. Display this IP. I mean, this switch has an IP address of 10.1.1.29. And let me just ping 10.1.1.30. Okay, I can ping it. Let me go ahead and SSH into that device. So admin, I mean, username is admin, admin. Connecting to port 22. So connecting to IP address port 22. The server's host key does not match the local cached. Either the server has changed the, or you connected to another server pretending to be the server. Please remove the and um, before logged in, logging in. Okay, <clears throat> so let me just do something here. Begin SSH or public key. Public key. Up here. Okay, let me. Public. Okay, it's gone. So I just followed the instruction here. Let me see if it's gonna work this time. So SSH admin. Okay, so connecting to 101130 port 22. The server is not authenticated. Continue, yes. Do you want to save the server public key? Yes. Password HP. So looks like it's successful. So display users. So as you can see, uh, I am uh, logged in to the access switch via SSH. So BTY zero SSH. So. I mean, Go here, verifying users that are currently connected. So I already did display users. We can just do display line. So it says here that so we are connected both uh, to the uh, access switch via console and SSH, BTY0. So let me try to do to, to SSH into the sweat switch itself. So let's see if it works. Telnet. <clears throat> um, hmm. SSH. Tendo. Admin. Mm, okay, so it's saying the same thing here. So we need to uh, system display current. We need to delete that uh, public key. Public public key or begin. So. And do, oops. Let me try to SSH again. Username. Okay, yes, yes. Password HP. 
display users. So as you can see, there's two users uh, lag into the same switch via SSH. So that is how you can uh, configure SSH on HP switches. Okay, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.